Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you to go about your journey with an open heart and also have the discernment to know when to guard your heart. See, we come across many on our path that really don't have our best intentions in mind. They only have their own intentions in mind. And even their own intentions aren't even serving them the way that they truly could. So have an open heart. See the light within others just as you see it in yourself. Because that's one of the only ways that you can stay true to not only who you are, but love who you are. And it helps you love others as well. And when you come across those who don't see their own light, you're leading by example by shining your light. It's a reminder to them that they too can do the same if they so choose. Now, regardless of what situations or what they believe is keeping them in the dark and keeping them from shining their light, it's not your business. So don't worry about it. Just live your life as a way to demonstrate that it is possible for others to shine from within unapologetically. This goes along with having a mindset that's solution oriented because our thoughts and our feelings are like ripples, right? So if we send out the, the vibration, the energy of, I could figure this out, or I know the answer, I'm waiting for it to come to me, or things have a habit of solving themselves easily and effortlessly. When you take on that kind of mindset, it, it builds up your discernment, it builds up your patience, you don't have to react, and you relax into it. Things happen in divine timing. It's a beautiful thing. When you move in the opposite energy, that uh, problematic energy, when you are stealthily skilled at finding problems, so much so that that's the, one of the main ways that you think about life and experiences is, oh, here's a problem. Oh, but what about this? Oh, the, the energy of worry. You're going to get more things to worry about. You're digging a hole deeper and deeper that you will not be able to escape out of until you let go of the shovel. So relax. Be solution oriented. Think about how you are already taken care of. Think about how your life is already taken care of. Think about how your problems are already solved because if you see a problem there has to be a solution if you focus on the solution you don't have to dwell with the problem Einstein said it I'm paraphrasing but essentially you cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it so look forward look ahead speak to your future self if need be speak to God if need be these things are highly encouraged because it reminds you that you can get ahead of anything. Relax. Be still. That's all you need. Hope this resonated for at least one. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.